I'm crowning! Oh, ah! Wow! Drop that sucker. Bingo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh huh. Yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about... minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like clockwork. Oh, no. Uh oh. Why oh, so funny? You had to be there. Oh, okay. Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my. oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. <laughs> Stanley just drank OJ out of my mug and didn't seem to realize that it wasn't his hot coffee. So the question has to be asked, is there no limit to what he won't notice? What's a seven letter word for purse? Satchel. No, starts with an H. Handbag. Hmm, thank you. All right, everybody, take a seat. As you may have heard, our branch on the planet Jupiter is up 8,000% in sales. Yeah. Hold up, that clock is slow. It is five o'clock. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, Stanley, love you. So long, Stanley. Good night, everybody. is eating an apple. I found a potato. Hey, Creed. Hi. Hey. Hey. Nice. I don't know this place as well as I thought I did. I'm getting cleaned out. Ready? Let's do it. Drop that sucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Deactivate the car alarm, clean up the mess. Okay. Find out whose car that is. If it's Stanley's, call the offices of James P. Albini, see if he handles hate crimes. Got it. Also, take apart the trampoline, stick it in the baler. We're not allowed to use the baler. Have Patch do it, or the sea monster. I'm on it. Oscar, did you bring it? To be adored you. <laughs> His best work. Okay, well, I have the tablecloth. Don't forget the flatware. Sure thing, Pam. Can't wait. Oscar, Toby, and I are founding members of the Finer Things Club. We meet once a month to discuss books and art, celebrate culture in a very civilized way. Sometimes the debate can get heated, but we're always respectful. There is no paper, no plastic, and no work talk allowed. It's very exclusive. Michael! Yeah? My water's breaking! Oh, okay, okay. Ah, right. What do you do? What do you do? I get a what call do from do? Jan and I meet her at the hospital. Right. 
Highways or surface roads? I take Quincy Ave to Gibson. No, Gibson is covered in potholes. Your car breaks down. Adapt. I checked the route. There are no potholes. It's Come about on. Get adapting here and have the to the circumstances. Andy, would you like to have my baby? Yes. Yeah. No. Ah! Okay, no. I'm crowning. Ah! All right. I'm crowning. Ah! Ah! Right. I'm crowning. Here we go. Here we go. The here we go. The Do it. Pressure. Scream. Scream oh! it out. Scream it out. Scream it out. Ah! Babies are one of my many areas of expertise. Growing up, I performed my own circumcision. Just keep pushing. Hold me! I'm right here. Cradle I'm my right head! Here. I'm right here. I'm screaming, I'm screaming, right. I'm screaming! Right. Ah! Just push and breathe. Numb me up. Oh. I want anesthesia. Shh. No, you can't have it. It's too late. No, I don't want no, natural. No, you have to just push it out. OK! Keep simulating. Ah! OK! Do you have the Sharpie? Keep simulating. Do you have the Sharpie? Yes, I do. OK! When the baby emerges, mark it secretly in a kind of a mark that only you can recognize and no baby snatcher could ever copy. OK. Ready? Yes. Ah! What was on that? Butter. Newborns are slippery. Nice touch. Good. Let's try that again. This is going to be the happiest day of my life. Come on. Michael, we don't know what you're talking about. Wet cement outside. It's drying. Fast. Come on. This is a lifelong dream. What do I write? What oh, do I write? Michael, you could put your initials in it. MGS, no. Some idiot named Mark Greg. Sputnik will claim credit for it. I don't. Wasn't a lifetime opportunity, people. Come on, here we well, go. What? Here we go. Well, let's. Yes. When I was a little girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, do it. Go we, on, great. Let's we, hear it. We found some wet cement it's in the drying, park at it's our drying. neighborhood. It's drying. All right. Come on, I Phil. Be right. Oh, come on. Here it is. You draw a picture. No. Because that says that says no. so much more than words. No. Come on, give me something good. Okay. I was watching E and I saw Will Smith outside the Chinese theater and oh my god, he looks so good. Hey, I'm translate. She's talking about the handprints that celebrities make in the cement. I love it. If you were a real star, you'd put your face in it. I love it more. Michael, that doesn't seem safe. I love it. <laughs> Come on, let's Come go. On. <laughs> we are here today not to immortalize a man, but an idea. Maybe the idea of a man. Hurry, please. Greatness is only skin deep, some people Can say. Well, that's not true. Other people believe it's Hold deep down inside, and in this case, Ready? that's also and not true. Go. Force it in as deep as you can. Today's a very special day for me, and it's really not about me. It's about my grandkids. It's about my great-grandkids. I can come back here when I'm 100, and I can find that piece of cement and say, that's me. Look, kids. Your daddy left that face hole. I don't know. It's a good feeling. Did you send Dwight on a quest for the Holy Grail? I think I'm a little too busy these days to send. Oh my god. I did send Dwight on a quest for the Holy Grail. The Dunder Code. I completely forgot about that prank. That had to be like six or seven years ago. Stayed late every night for a month. Had a lot more free time back then. I don't get it. Aha. Uh -huh. A light bulb. Light bulb. A light bulb. Okay. Okay. Invisible ink. Whoa. Higher than numbers go. The ceiling above the county. Dwight! Whoa. Down, Dwight! Dwight! Man, I wish I was there to see his face when he gets to the end. It finds the fake grail. No grail? You don't remember? I don't. An X. Annex. It must open something in the annex. <gasps> oh. oh. Sidus and Troiti, seat of entrance. <gasps> what? That's a flush. The, the warehouse. warehouse. There's nothing down here. Oh, I expected more from young Albert. This just, forget it, forget it. All right, everybody here? Yes. Popcorn, anyone? Yes, please. Thank you. Anyone else? No. Movie Monday started with training videos, but we went through those pretty fast. Then we watched a medical video. Since then, it's been half-hour installments of various movies, 
with the exception of an episode of Entourage, which Michael made us watch six times. Entourage! And the same thing goes for quarterly reports. They are unreadable. They're just numbers and boring and blech. So what I was thinking is that maybe we should have some sort of graphic, like if we have a bad quarter, put in a storm cloud. And when we have a good quarter, fireworks or a race car. Doesn't have to be a race car. Use your imagination. There's this cube on the screen. And it bounces around all day. And sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen. And then at the last minute, it hits a wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Pam claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the conference room. OK. <laughs> I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Who said I didn't see it? Did Jim say that I didn't see it? I saw it. We have a lot of colored paper here. Why, oh, why do we keep printing this on white? No, oh, come on! Yeah. I know. I know. It's bland. It's never going to happen. Dude, Dude here's what I was you got to believe. Maybe we could have some sort of riddle. Wait for it. Like something that you have to look for. Sort of a where's Waldo. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's quit while we're ahead. That was so awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. OK, listen, this is just going to be a friendly game, right? We are all on the same team here, the Dunder Mifflin team. Of course, if you beat us, you're fired. That's a joke. OK, let's do it. That was a good game, man. Yeah, me too. Should be fun. Mm. All right, everybody stretch out a little bit. Stretch. Let's stretch it. A little stretch. Ryan, you want to stretch? I stretched before. I can't. OK. <sighs> OK, Ryan, you have Daryl. I have Roy. Really? I thought I'd take Roy. No, actually, I think Roy's our best player, not Lonnie. So Dwight, you have the uh, East German gal. Uh, um, OK. All right, you guys? OK, we'll be skins. Oh, I think we oh, know teams we come are. on, Dwight. What? Should I? On or off? On. Just put it on. You sure? Yes. Uh, Pam, you kind of have your foot in both camps here. Why don't you do the jump ball, OK? Don't listen to him, Pam. Trust me. Tip it my way, or you're sleeping in the car. <laughs> Stanley! Oh. What? You got to be kidding me. Don't touch my treasure, OK? You understand? Obviously, he wants us to obsess about it. There's nothing in there, which is obviously what he would want us to think, making it the perfect place to hide a treasure. <laughs> oh, god, I'm Wallace Shawn and the Princess Bride. I think that Dwight wanted us to realize that this conversation among friends is the true treasure. Oh, oh, no, no. I am dying to know what's in there. Yeah, I know, Oscar, we all are, but nobody's gonna open it. You'd have to be insane. Hi, hello. Now carefully open the box. It's a photo of all of us. Oh, that's so sweet. Ah! Ah! A dart? Are you kidding me? Who would put a poison dart? Well, I mean, I don't know that it's poison. I mean, I just have to imagine. God, I'm glad he's OK, though. Kind of sounds like he deserved it, opening another man's treasure and all. Wow!